You're watching live coverage of the Mackinac Policy Conference. So much of the conversation this week is about workforce development, making sure that folks here also are ready for a knowledge-based economy. So I'm super thrilled to be able to talk to two presidents of higher ed in the state right now. President Santa Ono of the University of Michigan, welcome. Thank you very much. And interim president of the Michigan State University, Teresa Woodruff. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. So first, uh, President Ono, I just have to start with you because this is your first Mackinac Conference. It is. And you just became the 15th president of the University of Michigan in October. I'm how so is this excited. All, how it's is fantastic. this all for you as you're, you're getting welcomed? It's been a fantastic year. Everybody has been really, really nice and Good. welcoming. And Good. this has been an incredibly beautiful venue and yeah. great to interact with so many people. Right. It's unique. It is. It certainly yeah. is. And to that point, I mean, where else do you have what, you know, more than a thousand thought leaders and folks like yourselves thinking about what it's going to mean to grow Michigan's population, to keep folks here in our state? Um, President Woodruff, I've, I've got to ask, you know, we have so much state pride, right, in our states and, and in our Big Ten universities. And yet we're getting data this week that Michigan just simply isn't a top 10 state anymore. What is that disconnect about our pride and our love for who we are, but that we might not be that state anymore? Well, I think that data is relevant, but I think what we're doing now and uh, President Ono and I are really working together to reverse course yeah. and make sure that that diaspora of people who yeah. have left the state for other reasons and perhaps other opportunities really see this as the place of opportunity for them and their families. Yeah. And that's an important equation um, that um, both their work and their life has to co-mingle yeah. in order for them to be comfortable in the state of Michigan. And we're working together with the MEDC and um, with the governor's office to really make sure that our universities, as well as the ecosystem, really yeah. is that warm, welcoming environment for everyone. Yeah. Well, and I want to talk exactly about the work that both of you can do. Yes. So give me an example of what Michigan State University is doing right now as we talk about workforce development. One of the things we're doing is developing a new engineering and digital innovation center. Yeah. And this is to really invert the way we think about colleges. It's not a college of engineering. It yeah. is six, six colleges coming yeah. together for students who are interested in engineering, but also in digital innovation and yeah. uh, in the new economy that's coming that they themselves will both participate in and will build. Yeah. And so this new center uh, allows us to teach in new and innovative ways and to do a new kind of research that asks questions that are orthogonal to the way we've thought in the past. Yeah. President Ono, I feel like every day I am hearing about some new initiative from the University of Michigan, whether it's EVs, whether it's startup. Tell me what the U is doing right now in terms of workforce development. Well, it's a huge amount of work. Uh, you're, thanks a lot for the shout out about the electric vehicles. Yeah. Uh, but we just launched a $55 million Quantum Research Institute. Yeah. And we're very excited about that and the role that's going to play moving forward. Um, as you know, we have been just launched a global uh, superconductor uh, yes. uh, facility, uh, which uh, is really global in nature. Yeah. And uh, we're partnering with uh, the other universities in the URC, yeah. with Michigan State University and Wayne State University, but also yeah. Washtenaw. Community College yeah. uh, in really positioning Michigan to be hopefully a recipient of funding from the Chips for Science Act. Yeah, so. well, and that's been this fascinating conversation and, and President Ono, I know we'll, we'll also talk a little later about sort of workforce and talent development, but the theme seems to be, aside from the power of and, which we're gonna get to, but also the need for institutions to work together. And so you said the URC for folks who may be new to the state or, or it's the University Research Corridor. Um, Teresa Woodruff, tell me a little bit about what work is going on right now with the URC that you're excited about. This has been a 10 year partnership and uh, you know, right now I think the partnership has never been stronger. And yeah. as President Ono just said, we're working together as R1 universities, uh, as well as with community colleges. And yeah. to me, that's the power of and that um, is going to allow us to take students who are interested in coming in from any corridor, whether directly to a four year or through the two years. Yeah. And I think one of the things that we're doing is developing this workforce positioning for EVs themselves. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's going to allow all of us to have more opportunities for those students who graduate from this top ranked cluster of universities that really outpaces by student numbers and by research dollars any other cluster in America. Yeah. President Ono? Yeah, I mean, we start off with the top 10 issue. Yeah. As Teresa said, 
We are number one in terms of the talent that we produce. Yes. And a 2.7 billion dollars in research yes. is uh, staggering. And yeah. people don't know that. It's really a great news uh, story, but also it's going to be the seed corn for future innovation um, and really fueling uh, startup companies that are coming off out of our companies and also attracting new uh, industries to Michigan. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the cities in which both of you have your universities. I think so often about Ann Arbor, East Lansing and Lansing and how these cities along with these huge universities can sort of be interdependent and work together in order to keep talent here because it's not just the jobs. Right? It's where people want to live and work and play. How do you think about the actual environment in which where the university it's is? It's incredibly important. And yeah. I've been speaking to a number of people here in Mackinac about the fact that we have to put out a welcome mat yeah. together. Yeah. And we also have to make this a sticky place for graduates of our universities. So mm -hmm. we've been talking about how we can welcome new students to the region. Yeah. And I'm not talking about Ann Arbor or Lansing right. or Detroit. We have to talk about one Detroit. Yeah. And we have to talk about <laughs> the fact that we are a, a, a metropolitan area, a yeah. region in, the, in a great state. Yeah. And uh, we have to talk about all of the things that make this a great place to live and to work. The great culture, the great arts, the great sports teams. That's what will keep our graduates here in Michigan. Yeah. Right. And I think, as you know, Michigan State is in all 83 counties because of extension and the yes. work we do in our agriculture and agricultural business areas. And that's really critical. But I think the other thing that we've been doing and uh, partnering with the University of Michigan is to make sure we're across latitude and longitude from Grand Rapids to Lansing to Flint to yeah. Detroit and then all the way up uh, to Traverse City and up here in the Upper Peninsula. There are places that you have Spartans uh, that actually take care of your health take care of your gardens, take care of lactation health. Yeah. And the more we interdigitate, and I think one of the things that we've both brought to our roles is that we uh, are not competitive academically. We're trying to work in the best interest the, of the entire state. Yeah. And by doing that, we buoy both of our institutions. And yeah. I think that's a critical part of that equation is to amplify and elevate that uh, ecosystem across the entire state yeah. by what we do individually. Yeah, President Ono, I know you're really bullish on the idea of, yes, keeping students you know, here from in-state or even from the nation, but you're also looking outside of the country and having students come to the University of Michigan and then stay here. We want them to stay here. As you know, we have a considerable number of international students they choose our universities because we are research powerhouses. Yeah. And I'm sick and tired of them actually going to the coast. Huh. I want them to stay in Michigan. And there yeah. are many reasons for them to stay in this great state. Yeah. As you've probably read in the New York Times, people are not, they're leaving the coast yeah. and they're looking for the Midwest. Yes. And I think there's no better place than the state of Michigan for yeah. them to relocate to call home and to work. I feel like you can't, yeah, not miss any New York Times story, which is students or, you know, post students doing the New York thing and then, you know, looking for a farmhouse or something like that and Michigan raising its hand and saying, come back. <laughs> you can buy a pretty nice house in Michigan for yeah. $300,000. Yeah. That'll get you a parking lot on the coast <laughs> or maybe a, if you're lucky. a studio. So. <laughs> a parking lot for a bicycle, for an electric bicycle. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Um, President Woodruff, the, the theme of the conference, of course, is the power of and. Right. And it's this idea that it doesn't just have to be either or solutions. Right. I'm curious about, you know, now that you've had, you know, a day under your belt at the conference, what the power of and means for you and Michigan State University. Well, I think just being around so many people who are, are in government and in education, people who are in business that are traditional and those that are entrepreneurial. Yeah. Uh, everybody co-mingling and everybody really pulling the oars together on behalf of the state. Yeah. That's something that I think is really powerful. And I love the way we're coming together across all these sectors to enable a healthy Michigan. Wonderful. Well, I so appreciated all of your time. And now we're going to go on a conversation with Richard Florida on how cities will drive Michigan's revival.